so keep this in mind that after this video i will be uploading only two more videos and that's it so after that if you learned anything if you practiced anything you can uh, go with that if you are finding it valuable you can use the information if not just unsubscribe the channel ignore me because i might not upload any more videos after two more videos uh, to finish my market maker series so since it's for learning purpose the channel will remain there i will not delete the channel i will not uh, remove the videos however since it's for learning purpose this is it um i'm done with the i'm done trying to help people okay and by the same time like i'm I ha i'm too busy to make videos i have my own business i have a job a full-time job i have uh, to do trading as well so after all this i don't have time to make videos edit for hours and do this do that uh, reply people uh, comment uh, show some these show some that i i cannot i don't have the time to do that okay and that's why i came back after the things are uh, already done so yeah i mean uh, good luck to everyone and if i wasted your time sorry for that okay i'm i'm truly and solely sorry for that until that take a very good care bye bye this is negative 1.5 standard from the low to high and this is negative 5 standard from sorry from the bodies and from this now since i can see the accumulation phase over here equal bodies this and that so let me check yeah so this level makes more sense and this level makes some sense and the other one can be from this to this this 2 and 2.5 is where market going this is where it's going okay so bsl now let's see if i can do anything or not just for the final confirmation i want to see how this and these bodies are looking still it's going there that 1.5 and 2.5 is there was there a fair value yep so let's wait for a small pullback or something after that i can i can look for I'm waiting for this one minute and 20 something second by the meantime let me see where is the low here so this fair value all the way back to this level so this high is where I have the fair value so first is here and another one is here okay so This is one of them all the way back to this level. So where can I look for the other one here? This 27 seconds gonna decide like if market is willing to come back on more time or not. But I'm expecting this, this is where market will go and then maybe do a big pullback or something. By the meantime, I have to keep this one in mind. Let's see. Uh, like I want to. Is that just rip it higher here? Yeah, it should rip higher. Why not? It, it would, Every bloody thing like came. Ass, but is there any place over here? Every bloody is thing it? came negative. So why it should not rip higher? Okay, so the pullback.
Yeah, I'm not too eager to go into a trade right now because I I wanted here because of the higher time frame point of interest with that it has cleared like accumulation manipulation distribution so during that distribution first fair value second fair value whatever in around the middle point of the thing you will have your order block and here you have consecutive order blocks so for that market tra traded the consecutive order block now went higher it was a good thing to have but unfortunately this bloody market now how much room do I have over there how much room do I have it's 502 okay so three standard deviation exact tap happened over there so there are two ways okay like one way is like this so from low to this both leg okay and that is where it's aligning the best it tapped the 1.5 standard deviation of this one okay like this however i believe it should go to the two standard deviation that's why i'm i'm trying to take some pro uh, entry over here leader and follower but I, at the same time i wanted to see some uh, retracement inside of these two fair values so that the five minute first and second fair value retest could have happened that's why i'm not just entering into a trade straight away yeah come lower take these lows inside of this fair value or this fair value. since it's the one standard deviation this fair value can be a uh, let me do another thing so from here until that position let me do the grids okay on the five minutes i have that that fair value sitting here this is at the 50 percent is so they are supposed to be the measuring gap and at the 25 percent level this is at the first fair value that formed and market tab that fair value went higher at this level or close to this level I have a fair value lower and I have a fair value higher so this is where I'm expecting market to pull back before going higher and at this level I still don't have a fair value but I believe that after the pullback of that 50% range or like not exactly 50% into this this fair value market will then go higher look at that 1.5 standard deviation I don't believe this is my order block this is just some down close candles it's uh, even if market goes higher from here I don't believe this is my order block okay and you know by now that this is the first time I'm just turning on my uh, chart or looking into my chart so for that I didn't see this 25 percent this and that but i was seeing this accumulation manipulation distribution simple liquidity grab market structure shift fair value gap traded went higher as simple as that i i can calculate it later but as i said like i didn't notice where the things happened before see why i'm not rushing like market giving me good moves this and that why i'm not rushing into a trade Yes, I believe that it gonna give me a good amount of pullback right now okay especially to this five minutes farewell now I have to calculate another thing which is from these five minutes until if I hold it let's say around this but this is like 53 handle which is one thousand dollar I cannot afford that another thing is since I have the grid level one where is the that is a problem because the top of the five minutes fair value is aligning with that grid point so and the 50 percent is aligning with this one Oh. So, 
I don't want to take entry from this fair value but since the grid level like the what it calls the standard deviation is here I may I may have to take it from here however see that 50 and that standard deviation so market can come until this far as well there is nothing wrong with that now here so far on five minutes I had a very small fair value here but I have one two three fair values so I'm seeing this as uh, market creating more liquidities it gonna come back I will if I find a sell setup I'm not gonna take the sell setup because it's news drive and move from the market all all this however from this level if it gives the sell setup that can be a good good setup to look for but as I said you are going against the order flow so I don't want to do that but uh, if I could get the entry here I would love to take that entry see that five minutes fair value that grid level close to that or if you count the three candle two of the candles are aligned like overlapping that grid level so this five minutes fair value it's sending price higher yes I know but still I want to see it's coming back again inside of this big fair value rather than just moving higher this break a gap on five minutes doesn't have a lower any fair value gap here however this gap on five minutes is within the 15 minutes gap and within that gap I have multiple on minutes fair value gap so where should the market go and then go higher from this fair this gap and especially if possible from this fair value gap why because that is close to that 50 okay now look at that 50 exactly with 50 I have measuring gap what what market does when there is a measuring gap it either keeps it completely filled or it will just not trade it at all I don't know what happened to my measuring gap projection okay so let me put it in a different color and because it was the background was white before so let's see where the projection is see see where the projection is aligning whatever happens how big of a down move it gives it will eventually go and tap that because the measuring gap is also suggesting me that okay the only thing i want to see is market at least touching the measuring gap high so yes i can take a buy long from here put it below like below this fair value gap but how big of a stop loss that will be that gonna decide like if i'm willing to take the entry or not so yeah i mean 20 handle or something so just a tick inside i don't know if that one tick or two gonna cost me or not since it's a measuring gap i'm expecting it not to get fully filled and that's why i'm just putting it although i can put it like around 70 so i can put it around this area how big of a stop loss 78 56 22 handle so i'm taking all together come on come on come on come on come on come on give me the manipulation lower and let me get into the trade this might be like 800 900 dollars worth of a stop loss it's okay as long as it gives me that so the measuring gap here okay now the only reason I'm like I'm gonna take the profit here or maybe earlier depending on um, like earlier means let's see actually what is the what is the risk to reward is showing over here yeah so 2.38 let me fix the thing uh, 
100 yeah so and risking not 25 percent of course here let's see I'm expecting market to come lower first now the lower run yes I am I'm pre pre opening or pre placing my order but yeah it is what it is okay if market comes all the way back to this point I will add one more keeping the same stop loss okay I don't care I really don't care so this is 22 handle I'll put exactly where my 22 handle tells me to put okay so this is what I'm I'm looking right now this is where it will be how come that 50 so where is it yeah so 650 right come on I know measuring gap it may not be traded or something before reaching there so if it goes there first I'm not I'm not gonna you know like uh, take any any more entry like if it goes there and then comes and gives me the entry I'm not gonna take the buy long anymore see that big figure over here $500 let's see how much from the $500 the market moved this is 4.75 handle so if a big figure is waiting it can go 40 50 40 like 30 to 50 handle this is 363 where i projected it first went how far how far from here 95 handles okay it retraced back above this high how far it went because the big figure was not tapped over here okay the big figure the 500 level how much 30 to 50 handle is it happening yes it is happening and you see what what here is happening it's continuously creating higher highs and this low which is this low is here lower than all these when this is lower so what gonna happen market gonna come lower first then go higher eventually it gonna take this buy side one more time like this buy side this but this buy side i want to see that market is taking like okay let me go back it might give me the entry anytime come on not like that it has to come lower that one tick inside may cost me like not getting the entry however this was the entry if if market doesn't tap here and give me new bullish fair value so this one i'm gonna keep aside and this one i'm gonna put around this now all i'm waiting is to see if market is coming to that 25 percent or not let's see this 20 see how the week was created see how the week was created price just pooped pooped a week on the 25 percent and see what the reaction from that level this is the power of observation okay i don't care if market eventually breaks below that fair value all i care is that 25 percent is hit okay that's what i care about I don't care if market eventually breaks below these respects this fair value blah 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 this and that I really don't care okay all I care is I saw the rejection or reaction from the 20 it, it tapped the 25 percent that's all I care about why I didn't took the entry here right why I didn't took is because this is what it looks like now if I go one to two from this one maybe it will be hit but still it's too much to ask for because this is where you will see a huge thing happening fucking hell it never tap tapped that black candle and what i missed also you see that five minutes fair value 
this is where market tapped and then went so this low was the entry like this second visit was the entry however look at that look at that if only it gave me the entry here okay just look look where it tapped look with your open eyes where it tapped look from where it is creating all this shit okay and now this is just the projected terminus it can go even 5 10 20 handle higher than that no problem with that okay it can go up until maybe here like somewhat around this area which is 550 it can go there nothing wrong but look where market tapped and then came when did i mark that when this was happening when did i mark that when this move was happening okay from this so you need to know what i'm trying to teach you guys yeah i didn't get the entry because the fucking thing this is the breakaway gap okay like uh, measuring gap so let rather than that i mean i can write it like a measuring gap and maybe Mm, color okay so keep keep that in mind should be unfilled want to see unfilled everything is happening okay now problem is with the measuring gap yes it can just tap on the top of that measuring that's why i tried to take the entry from that fair weather it never gave me look from where you are seeing your black candles okay this is what i was trying to give you guys how far can it go this is one to two okay if i took this entry from the 25 percent this is where the one to two is based on where my stop loss should be yes the stop loss usually is here but there is no weak and there is a small volume imbalance for that i have to cover a little lower so whatever it is this is one to two okay and it can go five to fifteen handles above that how far it went 4.75 okay let's see if it can go like around 15 handles or not like around this far from that projection okay so just to make the video short i had to stop and wait until what market to reach a, to a certain level so my last word was let's see if it can hit 15 handles above that projected level or not so here the crazy sheet that i'm going to share with you guys okay so you know all the projection you know the measuring gap from the low to that measuring gap you can project that is the exact alignment with my projected buy side everything is there now let's come with that crazy thing that i was trying to show you guys from that projected terminus which is that green line okay so from that green line look how far it went 17 handle right now you said 15 handle it went 17 handle okay you see the re retest or displacement come up with the bodies what is it saying can you guys see that i hope you guys can see that okay yes the week went two handle more yes the volatility was bigger yes whatever you are trying to learn here is not every time coming up from the live chart this is 17 handle this is your 15 handle i know i didn't put it exactly on that line that's why it's not just look and look at that body and from there okay from that 15 handle move it came until this far which is 57.75 handle and market is still going higher but it first retraced until 57.75 handle from that body i'm not even counting the high from the high it's nearly 60 handle okay so if if you think now here what exactly the market did this is where you have a swing high that got liquidity grab and this is the swing low that was sh valid for shifting market structure okay so this is liquidity grab this is market structure shift i'm not even putting a pre thing on there okay i'm not putting a pre order or pre uh, order placement at 10 handle 15 handle that i usually i shared recently a video regarding that as well so i'm not doing that 
instead of that i'm showing you a setup after it reached 15 handle you see this fair value what is this this is your first fair value of the move what it should be breakaway gap there is a small fair value over here what is this this is your entry fair value or the fair value you may look for entry now here is the crazy sheet now you will see that is where the otz 62 level is so according to my thing where should you take the entry from that 62 level where is your stop loss at one i don't put at one but even if you put at that high you get your one to two more than that and then market went higher okay but where should i put the stop loss because i'm expecting this to a break a gap there okay i don't really need to put it all the way back up there now how far it reached 40 handles 3.5 i don't want to go that way instead of taking on top of that fair value if you took on the low of the fair value still you are getting your one to two like nearly one is to three now i'm not saying you can target until that low it created where can you target you can maybe target here or you can maybe target that low the low it created and coming like retracing from still it's giving you 2.35 so just by targeting this low you are getting 30 handle or the profit how much you are risking this is 15 dollars and 240 so 255 dollars and how much you are getting 600 dollars 600 dollars if you take just one lot of entry okay why nothing else over here now i can see here i have something that can that can give me the confirmation or that can do this but this is equal lows this is not a swing low where is the swing low this is a swing low it's trading inside of a huge fair value gap over here that gap sent the price to the projected terminus and at least 15 handles okay and from there market gave you a 60 handle move from the 15 50 handles move it give you a 60 handle move what you are doing i'm not taking the sell short as i was saying earlier that i'm not gonna take the sell short instead i will either wait for this entry to get filled or if i don't the entry before market reaching there i will not take any entry so that's why no trade for me today even though i was correct even though i was expecting this to be unfilled still i didn't take the entry okay and as you can see that's the fair value gap on two minutes which i didn't have before so when i selected two minutes i didn't have that fair value i was looking at the one minute fair value which was here which was here and that is why i said look between your time frames you cannot be slave of on minute you saw recently i took entry on 30 seconds based on 30 seconds chart i i took entry based on 15 seconds chart i don't care when i have the resource i will take the entry now that the two minutes fair value is right above the measuring gap the entry would look something like this that the entry i was looking for is exactly from the two minutes fair value that's below these inducement liquidities market created another fair value here inside of the measuring gap so i would just cover maybe the middle point or the 75 percent of the measuring gap because first of all it should not be traded or even if it's traded it should leave a huge portion unfilled measuring gap is something that may not be traded at all or if it's traded it will leave literally a huge portion unfilled so it may come to that 25 percent and then go higher the max it can do since it's a very volatile move and the weeks are pretty good size as well maybe the week can touch until the midpoint the consequent encouragement that's the max it will do and high probability measuring gap will be unfilled like this way so that that five minutes fair value that 15 minutes fair value you are seeing it will remain unfilled like that 